So, as many of us know, the National Guard, 26,000 or so strong, was in D.C. for the inauguration and then held over for a few days. Uh, the moment that the cameras were no longer on the Biden administration, the National Guard was forced to leave the Capitol, as you see here, and go into a parking garage. Reports are there was like one outlet, like two toilets. It was pretty bad. Governor McMaster tweeted that all South Carolina National Guard troops were going to be leaving Washington, D.C., and he was pretty much right. Last night, they got in at about 2.30 a.m. in Mount Pleasant, and we went ahead to see about how many there were and to welcome them home. Unfortunately, we found out that a few of them will be staying along with thousands of others. So that'll be until at least mid-March. But don't worry, Jill Biden and her husband Joe, unbeknownst to him I'm sure, are providing some of the National Guard troops with chocolate chip cookies. All of this while ending tens of thousands of jobs with the stroke of a pen, irreparably damaging our relationship with our neighbor and ally Canada, and rolling back price protections which lowered the cost of insulin and epinephrine by 50%. All because orange man bad. How's that unity working out for ya? This is the first week, guys. Yikes. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, MeWe, Facebook, and also the overtonreport.substack.com.